VR is finally upon us, with the price of Oculus Rift finally out of the box. And even though the price is much higher than anyone had originally anticipated, it's still pretty cool that VR is finally happening on a consumer level. But what games are there to play? Hey Shackers, Greg here, and I'm counting down the top 10 VR games you need to play. Now a few rules. First off, the games have to have been announced or designed in VR. Ports are fine, but games like Mirror's Edge, something we'd all like to see come to VR, won't be on this list because this isn't a wish list. These are VR games that are out now, have been in development for a while, are in early access, or have been announced. I tried to avoid demos as well. Vox and Bullet Train are great VR demos, and they may be full games down the line, but I wanted to keep this list real with VR games that we know will be released fairly soon. Keep in mind that VR is far better an experience firsthand, and it's hard to describe. One really has to try it to understand it and appreciate it. Now let's strap on our 600 or, yeah, $800 headsets. No, God, please, no! These are the top 10 VR games you need to play. And all you need to play are two quarters and your soul. Sometimes the most straightforward games are the best. Distance is a game where you fight against the track to see how long you can survive. It's basically Temple Run, but much more enjoyable. The art style is fun and reminiscent of Tron Legacy. It's a simple game, but one hell of a ride in VR in the car's bumper view. The game is pretty intense and addicting for the early days of VR. I can go the distance, I don't care how far, somehow I'll be strong. Not every game has to be a scare fest or dogfight. Some games like Classroom Aquatic can be silly and ridiculous. In this game, you play a dolphin who didn't study for his exam, so you do the practical thing any junior high dolphin would do. Cheat by trying to see answers from the students who came prepared around you. Lean and move your body in VR space to see answers on your closest classmate's test, but don't get caught by the teacher or else it's game over. It's a fun concept, and one that lends itself very well in VR. Check it out if you've never heard of it. Games like Half-Life 2, Quake, and other classic first-person shooters have already been ported to Oculus Rift, and I've heard nothing but good things from VR goers playing these older games in full VR compatibility. The games we all remember playing, revamped for VR, and if done right, can breathe new life into games and introduce them to a whole new generation of gamers. So far, Half-Life 2 and Quake have been ported to Rift, so check them out. It's the same old car with a different engine and interior. I'm halfway back to Locker 2 when Collado's line goes limp. It takes five seconds to get turned around. I get a glimpse and he's gone. I'm deaf and blind, no bearings. The ocean's one big black beast, and it's just swallowed me whole. That's it, I think. This is the end. There's something about being underwater that really immerses you in VR, and Narcosis is no exception. Trapped thousands of feet below sea level, your goal is to survive by finding tools and oxygen below before you lose your sanity. Survival horror type games will be in abundance in VR, but this terrifying underwater adventure is great at getting your heart rate up as well as letting you experience the fear of being miles below the surface in a leaky dive suit. This game has been in development for a long time, and it's been designed for VR from the ground up. The designers and coders of the game took full advantage of the VR hardware, and space sims will never be the same. From exploration to the stars, to trying to salvage a wrecked ship's cargo, 
Everything takes a tremendous amount of skill to pull off. Even something simple like landing your spaceship takes pinpoint accuracy. And having it in VR makes it a hell of a lot more immersive. When someone says a platform game in VR, you have to wonder. However, Lucky's Tale will be one of the first 3D platformers available for the Oculus Rift. And even though I played it, it's still hard to explain why it's good and different at the same time. Remember when you were a kid playing Super Mario 64 and you had to sometimes like move and shift your head or your body to try to get that better view of a jump you had to make in the game? Well, this game kind of does that, but on a whole new level. You feel more involved in your character's quest. It's like you're on the journey with him, seeing things you normally wouldn't be able to see in a 2D or even 3D platformer. All hands on the trigger, all eyes on the gun, don't believe that we are... One of the first exclusive VR titles on the PlayStation 4 for PlayStation VR, Rig is a competitive first-person shooter where you play a mech in an arena of 3v3 where you have to dunk yourself through a hoop at the other end of the field. It sounds cheesy, but it's actually quite fun. If you're one of the lucky ones to get a PlayStation VR when it's finally released at the low, low price of $800, be sure to check this game out. The cold and quiet world of space has been in games for years. But like the movie Gravity, it can be a terrifying experience. You're lost above the Earth with a leaky spacesuit as you scramble to find oxygen canisters and discover how you got in the situation to begin with. The sheer immersion of this VR game gives you chills, because in a drift, each breath could be your last. Horror and survival immersion can be great in VR, but for the action shooter enthusiast, look no further than EVE Valkyrie. Don't even try comparing it to EVE Online, this game is fast, fun, and frantic dogfighting action in space. And it truly utilizes everything the Oculus Rift has to offer. It's one of the best combat space shooters to experience in VR. One more minute, we're nearly done. I'm Samuels. I work for the company. It's about your mother. Horror genres and VR seem to go hand in hand, and Alien Isolation is simply one of the best VR games currently out. And even though it's technically a VR port, it does a damn fine job of using VR hardware to immerse you with the fear of being seen by a xenomorph in a vast empty space station. The game in VR becomes a true feeling of terror and dread. If you really want the true immersion experience that Oculus Rift has to offer, you'll want to play Alien Isolation. What VR games have you guys played? Let us know in the comments below. For more videos like this and everything else gaming related, you're already in the right place. You're on shacknews.com.